Yeah, here it is, boy. You're live right here with your boy, Coach Low, for life, a.k.a. the Camp King. I'm representing the FBU tonight for a reason, because we got some people that went through the path to Naples, the journey to be a freshman All-American. Goal setting. Goal setting. Opportunities to be one of the best freshmen in the country. That's what we're going to talk about tonight right here on Coach's Corner with your boy, Coach Low. And we're going to get it down right here on Wednesday before we go into our mid-Wednesday hump day or wind down Wednesday with my boy, Coach Cap and Mr. Right Choice. But listen, high school football is in season. We're right in the middle and somebody realizing they're going to the playoff and some not going to the playoff. Some saying they're getting ready to start training, start grinding. Some said, I hope I don't have to train and grind. They want to be lazy. Fast feet eat, slow feet sleep. A lot of things going out there in the college world, too, as you can see. But we can talk about that a little bit later. I got to get into it right now. I got four uh, freshman All-American coming up. And, man, I'm just amazed and excited to have guys that went through the path to Nate to be a freshman All-American. That's why we bring it right to you on the Coach's Corner on Sports Club Florida. We bring it to you all the way live right here in Orlando. But we might talk about things all the way in Texas and California. Bring it back down to Miami. Sports Club Florida. That's how we do it sometimes, right? It's a Florida, but we nationally known. So with that being said, I got to get ready to get going right now because I got some guys that want to come in here and we're going to talk to them about their journey, their path. Because we're setting the platform for high school athletes. We're setting the platform for them, an opportunity to get up and talk. Now with NIL going on, you better make sure you know how to talk to people because they are checking you out and see how you speak. I mean, T-Mobile don't want to get no money. Nobody can't speak well, so you better know how to talk. And that's why you bring in the platform for our athletes in Central Florida. So right now, I got coming up. Uh, I mean, this guy right here has definitely grown and shocked me. I'm talking about, man, his height, his size, his ability to play multiple, multiple positions on the offensive line. That's one of the biggest things that people have to recognize and understand, that when you are lineman, you are lineman. I remember the Pouncer brother who did not play center in high school at Lakeland High School, but they moved to the center position because it fit them best. And guess what? One of them ended up going to Florida Gates as a center and ended up playing in the NFL for years as a center, the position that nobody really wants. Why? Because you got to be smart, smart, and even more smarter. You the quarterback with the ball first. Think about that there. Without you, there's no quarterback. It's that simple. You don't hike it. Nobody moves. My man moves very well. It's Mr. Dominic. Dominic, what's going on? Uh, what's up, Coach? Oh, man, how you doing tonight, man? Everything going good? Yes. All right, man. Listen, Dominic, man, I'm so glad you had the opportunity to come on the show, coming on the Coach the Corner with your boy, Coach Low. You know, we've been riding this way for a couple of years now, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, but listen, you're doing some great things over there at Toho High School. Now, it's crazy when I say the word Toho. I mean, it kind of sounds like the shortcut of a Tahoe. Let people know the real name because I don't want to murder the name. They might get mad at me. How do you say that high school name you go to? Uh, Toho Pikalika. <laughs> Try to say that 10 times in a row, baby. <laughs> well, listen, we'll we'll go with the abbreviation Toho. You are there right now as a freshman. Before we even get to Toho, you actually play you football at what organization? What did you play at? I played for many. I played for the the most recent one was the Orlando Outlaws. Okay, yes, definitely. Well, that game right there, you playing at Orlando Outlaw. Well, you know, I tell you, I'm 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 excited about that because you guys left Orlando Outlaw, you and a couple more players. I got one of your players that's coming online too right now. They're going to be joining you in the Fresh All-American Bowl. But you guys came over to us last year and it, and, and filled the spot for us for our FBU 8th grade team. And um, we will just we just thank you guys for doing it. We want to shout out to Orlando Outlaw and let you guys represent their guys with the helmet on. That's one thing great about FBU National Championship team, right? You get to represent your youth football organization, right? You get to wear that helmet that say outlaw, right? How do you feel that you represented that program uh, in the FBU National Championship game or tournament last year? How do you feel about that? I felt great. I love that team. 
Yeah. Well, let me ask this here. Tell me, well, how, is, if people don't know that you can play multiple positions too on the line, we were able to move you around, right? I mean, from guard to center to tackle, but now you still play multiple position in as a freshman in high school right now. What? How tall are you, and how how how, how much you weigh right now? I am six four, two seventy. Wow, perfect size right there for the offensive lineman right there alone. I mean, you already two seven as a freshman. They want linemen sometimes be about three hundred pounds. You got the body to get that big, you know, and, and continue to move the way you move too at the same time. Now you you compete in a lot of camps, right? You did some FBU camps when you were younger, right? Yes, sir. And I, what's your experience? Tell about that experience at the FBU camp. What your experience at them camp? Every FBU camp was amazing. Great coaches. Great experiences, great, just great people in general. Right, but you had to compete. Now, when you went to FBU camp, some people say when they go to the camps, they don't be the best or the best. Did you compete with some of the best guys in the country, to your opinion, at, at the camp? Yes. yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I heard they said that real quick. Yes, sir. I heard that. Now, let me ask you right now. You actually competed in FBU camps. You went through the journey. You followed the path to Naples. You played the FBU NAT championship team for Team Central Florida. And if they have there, but you had a goal, and I remember all the time you keep reach, you reach out to me, coach. What you think? What you think? What I can do? What I can do? You know, it was it was a big deal to play in a fresh All American uh, bowl game. Why was that such a big deal for you? Because I want to put my name out there. I want to be something great when I'm older. Right. So you're telling me that playing a fresh All American bowl that gonna put your name out there, get you the exposure. So it's a big deal playing in that game. Yes, sir. All right, so now that, that game is coming up, right? And we talk about all the great things going on, but now you're at Toho and, and you're a freshman. You started as a freshman at a, 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 a large class high school right there. You got another uh, FBU um, all camp MVP guy as um, the quarterback right now. And it's like you guys surrounded by FBU, you're surrounded by talent. You also have an under acre All America, uh, Tony Duke Brown. All right, you got Savvy Masek right there at quarterback. I mean, you got some guy. You got Trey Poncher. So you got some guy at all that are following the path through FBU and, you know, trying to get to be that freshman All-American. But here it is. You're the one that got chosen this year to be a freshman All-American. And uh, congratulations on that right there. But I know that's secondary. Right now, let's talk about the season. Right now, Toho, Toho, Toho. How's the season going right now? Uh, it's going good. Right. And we got a record right now as well. What's your record? Uh, three and two. All right, three and two right now. In the middle of the season, anything possible, anything can happen. Right, y'all play a couple of good games and won some good games too, and had a couple of games that y'all fell short and everything too. But how's that going for you being a freshman All American? I know they know you're a freshman All American. The coach over there, um, just you know, does some a lot of things. I like his philosophy. And I like how he do things, like how he move and, and try to get you guys prepared for the next level. You think the coach at Toho is getting you prepared for the fresh on American boat? Yes, sir. All right. So what do you think? Then? What are they doing to say, man, yeah, the coach get me ready. What is, what's going on over there? Uh, game preparation, football preparation, team preparation. Give me a little insight. Come on. Talk to me. They, they push us every practice, try us in new positions, make us do everything and anything possible. Right. Well, I know one thing too. That's really good to be a freshman starting as a freshman. Not gonna play in a freshman All American Bowl. You all there's a lot of exposure gonna come. Right in the office right now. In the in the letters coming in. Anybody talking to you? Mm, no. Not right now. Why? Because it's early, right? But now, get, I'm telling you this right here. When you get after that freshman All American Bowl game, <laughs> and your name hit the thing, and and Anthony Williams, the man, my mentor, Anthony Williams. I'm telling you. He does things totally different. He got a different philosophy, and it's second to none. So when you leave there networking and training and, and practicing under these his toolage and the guys that he bring in, the Fresh All-American Bowl, I'm telling you, you, they'll know your name after that. I mean, I, I, I won't be surprised if you're not the next guy like Chance Barkley who came out last minute, jumped in there, and now Chance Barkley is sick, sitting on the office. So, hey, congratulations. Um, being selected for the first All American Bowl in 2021, December 21st in Naples, Florida. Thank you for trusting me and LPU uh, National Championship team uh, down here in Team Central Florida. I wish you the best of the best this season, and I definitely will be down there with you, getting you fired up, as you know, as always. And um, and good job this year. Continue to continue your success, and good luck at Toho. 
for the rest of your season. Thank you for coming on to listen to Low and the Coach's Corner. Dominique, have a great journey. You too. Thank you, Coach. We all heard it right there from Dominique Miranda. Now, he's a man of not many words, as you can see. But, you know, that's how them linemen are. They don't talk the game. They put it down in the game. That's why I like to call it right there. And that's why we think about this. So now you got the center and everything that's going down. But your center is, is the guy. But at the same time, who is the guy that make your thing move once that center move, right? So, you know, there's a lot of uh, talk that running backs is absolutely – people don't really talk about running backs that much anymore. And I don't really understand that part there. And because there's only a few, you know, there's five receivers now, and the running back better know how to catch. But there are always a couple of diamonds in a rough or dime a dozen running backs that can get the job done. Somebody who have the heart, the mindset, the grind, mind, to run through that A, B gap and hit that linebacker right in his mouth. Or – Get that one cut, one cut, and get to the hash numbers sideline. Hash number sideline. There's still a couple of them guys out there. And I have one right now that been through the FBU, followed the path to Naples, and as a freshman right now, I mean, I'm talking about as a freshman, he did what it took to be a freshman All-American, uh, playing that one of the biggest and the only game, freshman All-American game in the country, right? This guy here is the starting running back for Arbondale High School, Right now, first game, you bust a touchdown. You're doing well as a freshman, holding that type of Arbondale, and he's physical and he's strong. Night side, night height, the grind and the mindset. Anthony Howard Jr., running back, Arbondale. Anthony, what's going on? Uh, so we had it to week six. Right Y'all in now, week six right now? Looking like I got 400. Right now, my stats looking like I got 400 yards, two touchdowns. All right, that's what's up. Oh, so like, you already kicked off straight. Yo, yo, if I'm correct, your first game, you had a touchdown your first game? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, I've seen that, right? Like, first game, this man don't jump out the gate. I I, I, I want to I, – I, I try to look at all my stats. Did You you had a game that you had like 122 yards one game. I thought I'd seen that. One game, like 122 yards and a touchdown that game. How you felt as a freshman lineup at a, a school at Arbondale and, and, and with a coach with a different – a strong mindset – and just bust up there and do a hundred some yards in one game as a freshman. How did you feel after that game? I felt I felt pretty good. I was self was just ready to get back to work. I wasn't really nothing. I couldn't like I couldn't handle what I ain't did before. So I just right. I just had the mindset just get ready to get back to work and do it again. Right. So you like, hey, whatever it is, that is next next game. Let's move it on. Let's keep it going. Keep it going. So I can try to help our team win a championship. That's kind of what I'm hearing right there. Cause y'all have a strong mindset. Now your coach have a, a certain acronym that he uses, and I'm, I'm testing you now. And I, I, you know, your coach might be online live. He used this certain acronym about what you guys should do. You know, what D stand for, A stand for, whatever. Can, do you remember? You know what I'm talking about? Yes, sir. What is it? Break it down to me if you know. The coach might be listening. Never know who's listening. So, um, this D stands for discipline. Uh, I stands for integrity. G stands for goals. Um, D, D stands for dedication. E stands for execution. And P stands for pride. Wow, man. You just broke that thing down right there. I'm talking about. I'm glad you broke that down, because if you didn't break that down, you might have been in trouble, because Coach be calling me now. I be checking up on you now. <laughs> yeah, you, you think you was out there doing some extra work with your daddy. You've been doing some 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 push-ups and running some staff. You didn't know that there, boy. So, but your team believe in that. I see, you know what I mean? Win or lose. I know y'all had a tough loss against Jones High School. It's one of the top teams in the country, top teams in the nation. But when you line up against a team like that, and you face a team like Jones High What's your mindset? What are you thinking? Just got to come in and just execute everything. Can't really have no mistakes because it, everything that we have a mistake on, they're going to execute off of. So we just got to come in next time and just have less mistakes. Everybody right, exactly. I like it. I, I kind of want to backpedal a little bit because when you first came over to FBU like three, four years ago, in sixth grade, and you played running back, linebacker in all your life, um, I can remember your, your hard work and I watch all the video that you're doing all this in the sand and grinding and working, you know, you, you go to school, you come on, you're working. You want them guys that say, you know, hard work, you know, pays off, hard work pays off. You're going to hear that a lot with coach uh, Anthony William. He really believed in that part. Hard work pays off. And that's why I like the fact that you had an opportunity to play in this game because hard work do pays off. Now I, I don't, I don't even remember you getting all the accolades, uh, in the youth football, 
you know, they got, no, I remember you played on uh, certain teams and they had top players here and there, but you know, it, it goes that way. It just adversity. You learn from it, but in FBU, you know, you grind, you grind, you grind, you went to the camp. You did what it took. You and your father did the path to Naples. And now here they are. You're going to play in the biggest all-star freshman all-American bowl game in the country. The only one really, H- how that make you feel? It just feel like all the hard work I've been putting in is paying off. And it's like, I just got to keep going. Got to keep a solid mindset. Can't let the height get above me. Just got to stay home. Well, that mindset that you have, that humbleness, that hungriness, keeping your head up, staying healthy, having fun mindset, led to you not only to play in the Fresh All-American Bowl, it also led to you some offers. Now, if I'm correct, you're holding offers right now. First offer, okay, I'm going to say one, two, three, four, you name them all. Give me an offer, number one. Florida State, Miami. I got Florida State, Miami, UCL, and South Florida and Florida. So you got so you got all the Florida schools up uh, FIU and FAU. They, they trust me, they gonna throw their hat in the pot. Here come a freshman guy playing running back, a position that nobody really want to play, and you sitting there holding a Florida Gate, a Florida State, UCF, a Miami, and USF offer as a freshman, fourteen years old, starting running back at Armadale. That what I mean. That what Anthony what you mean by hard work pays off. Listen, how you keeping yourself straight with all this, man? What are you doing to stay strong and stay humble with this? You know, what are you doing? How you keep yourself busy from getting distracted with all that success? Just working hard and just being in the film room every week and looking at my opponent and make sure I, I, I know that my opponent is doing. So I'm just that's why I really keep myself busy. I don't know. I study my opponent. Um, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So you're excited about the fresh all American bowl. You ready to go? Yes, sir. Well, they well they got a good one coming in, whether they know it or not. One of the hardest running, hardest workers coming in, right? All the Florida teams on your back. More to come. A lot of for you, a lot of opportunity. So, they, I just want to reach out and say congratulations, everybody, to see what a true fresh All American guy is. And, and Anthony Howard, you a definite one starting running back for Arbondale High School. Anthony Howard, congratulations! And I and I'm excited. I can't wait to see you down there December 21st. And uh, we're gonna have some fun because I answered what you said. Hard work pays off. Thank you for coming on the show and have a great journey. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Y'all seen it. <laughs> another one and another one and another one. As you see it right there, bad, another All-American running through the FBU path of Naples. It gets no better than this right here. But it get well, it don't get no better than this, but it's going to get a little bit better. Because see, a lot of time, all the attention goes on the guys, you know, the running backs and all these guys, you know. But you see, I brought a trenchman in them. So all you guys, you know, not going to Aaron Jones Trenchman Academy or Tyrone Sapp or or Kennard Land Grit in the Pit, hey, or Coach E Estrada, these four guys, I just, get, I just put in your life. You better get with these four guys, right? And you already know I got to give them a little more props than everybody. Aaron John, Trisha Academy, I got to get it to him. He produced nothing but the best. So y'all better get with the program. And that's why coming up right now is my man. This guy here definitely been with us. Love the brand. He loved the grind. He loved the mindset. Another freshman starter. Another lineman. Got bigger. I told him to bring a shirt. And he said, too small, coach. I said, I understand. He getting bigger. He gets stronger. He the star line, lineman for West Orange High School. Well, at one point was sitting on a great undefeated record. They had a took a tough loss, but I know he didn't he didn't quit until the end, until the fat lady scene. Y'all, y'all help me welcome my man, Fenway Cochran. Fenway, what's going on, Fenway? How you doing, coach? Oh man, I'm just chilling like a million trying to get a billion. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. <laughs> man, listen, are you excited about what's about to happen? Yes, sir. I'm ready to go. I just want I'm, I'm excited to go play. <laughs> You know, here's what's crazy about, I don't think people understand that true path to Naples when we're talking about LPU, because you've been at LPU since you're in the sixth grade all the way through. And now here it is. I don't think people know that you also is a Under Armour, eighth grade, All-American also. I don't think they know about that right there. Tell about tell about that experience. Tell about, there it is. Tell about that experience. Um, it was an amazing experience. We got to travel to a hotel. You know, FBU helped get me there. You know, going to all these camps, going against the best of the best, I was provided a path, you know, path to Naples. I was provided a path to get there. And um, they had it set up with everything, best of the best equipment, 
best of the best coaches training until the game came and we got to play in that really big, amazing stadium. Well, there it is. I mean, so many people would love the opportunity to play uh, in that stadium and, and be a freshman all I mean, an eighth grade All-American. They would love that opportunity, gain that experience. And I'm glad you had a chance. So now you keep the opportunity to come back and, and, and give back and tell people about it so they see how that journey and how your journey went. But now you had an opportunity to come to the LPU team system for the trials and to get let people know that you are All-American at anything possible. And yes, how, how, why, what make you guys come back? You came back with Jake Crowell and uh, Chance Barkley don't came back before and JP Pierre don't came back. Uh, you know, you, you got what? Why you guys come back, you know, to give back, you know, and to the other can see, you know, what was your thought process this weekend? I came back because I was thinking about how when I was 11 years old and I came in in sixth grade from Maine, I was thinking, you know, I'm looking in the stands and I'm thinking, wow, I want to be just like these guys right here. So now that I'm older, I want to be an example for this younger, these younger kids coming into FBU, you know, thinking, yes, this is where I have to be. If this is where I go, then I'll end up like these guys. All right, there it is. Hey, I, I don't think I could have said no better than that. And I thank you for coming back and giving back to the young one. I mean, you should have seen them guy. If they want, if, if I gave them time, they probably probably wanted some autograph. But you know, I don't play that guy. It's that straight burn, baby burn. You already know about that. <laughs> but I tell you mm -hmm. what, I knew I knew you're gonna have a great journey because you always train. I remember you coming to train with us, and everybody out there was fast. Duke Brown, remember Duke. <laughs> Uh, you yep. uh, come out there flying around and all that mm -hmm. speed. You out there with uh, Quint Taylor from Iowa State. You had um, Noah Thomas. He's at Oregon State. You training with the oh. Potter boy, them big time boy. But you was moving. I'm gonna call your dad. Said this boy got some good feet. And know what? It paid off. Fast feet, eat slow feet, sleep. It paid off for you. Now mm -hmm. here it is. You go down to Top Gun. Where's yes, at the final opportunity? Mm -hmm. And you dominate. No one can help you. Ain't no pick you. You got to mm -hmm. earn it. I got the best, probably the best 200 linemen in the country. Everybody yep. want to play in that fresh All-American game. I'm on a whole nother field. I walk over and they say, Fenway made it. I said, oh my gosh. But know what? I knew it was going to pay off. Tell about that experience at Top Gun, the number one camp in the country. Tell us about it. Yes, sir. I came in and I was thinking, you know, like everyone thinks, you know, I remember cut out for me. But I also thought about all the work I put in to get to this camp and get to this opportunity. So when I got there, I had no worries and I was ready to go. You know, I battled my way. I showed my skills and my technique, my speed, my agility, my power, my strength that I worked on all those weeks beforehand. And it paid off. Well, we know it paid off because you got picked to play the only and the number one freshman All-American Bowl. The best freshman in the country got to come in town to Naples. I think it's 60 of the best freshmen under the tutelage and the guys of my mentor, Anthony Williams. I keep saying that because I just, yeah. he just, he just, you, you met Anthony every year and finally you're going to really know who he is now because you're going to get a chance to play up front of him and, and listen to him, be guided through. And that's what everybody needs to understand. You know, his coach and his coaching staff, former NFL guys, you know, you got the training, you know, you train with top guys, of course, we talked about that, but you continue that training, get a little bit something from everyone. And that's why if you look at it and look at the history, I, I can go back to three, four years ago when I first started working with LPU and doing it, a fresh out American game. I, I can go back then and see guys that like, wow, you guys, he got multiple offers. Like I go all the way back to um, uh, Gavin Nix, four star commit to Miami Hurricanes, and you know they know and they have no offer when they coming in. Some of them. Now you got Anthony Howard coming in with five offers, which is great. But you know these guys coming in with offers, and I know your days are coming too with offer. Tell me about your uh, interest. What interest you get from colleges, or or the, or is the journey just beginning? Uh, my journey is just beginning. I've gotten some emails for camps, but other than that, it's mostly just been, you know, my days are beginning. Well, no, well, don't worry about it. <laughs> when you get down to the fresh all American bowl and dominate, do what you're supposed to do. Oh, they're gonna know who you is then. And they're gonna know who you are without a doubt. If and bust about it. You're at West Orange. Y'all, y'all send good with the record. Now you're actually you had a big loss coming up, but I know y'all gotta bounce back. I know Gino done a great job over there. I uh, had a lot of changing, but him to go five and oh, what five y'all five and one now? Yes, sir. Yeah, I mean, for, I mean, come on, people. You know, that's. I mean, I know it was a tough game, and Evans are a great, very strong team over there, and we know that they're a powerhouse team. They play well, 
So I'm excited, man, um, about you and what you're doing in your journey. And I want you to continue success. And I can't wait to see you December 21st down in Naples uh, for the Fresh All-American Bowl. So keep working. Uh, stay hard. Good luck in your high school journey. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for coming on the Coach Corner with your boy, Coach Low for Life. See you, Coach. Well, there you go. Another one. Another one, right? Another trenches in the building, getting it done. He trained with some of the best of the best. And like I say, you know, you lineman trenches out there, y'all better get with the guys and get with the program. Speed and agility, trenches hand to hand. My boy Aaron Jones tell him all the time, you can come to me today, but you better go to Coach Low today or go somewhere get some work in because it all goes together. Fast feet, Warren Sapp said it best. Let's eat, baby. Let's eat. Well, I got somebody that's eating real good right now. I call him A T. C, air traffic control. This man right here controls the airways. When the ball go deep, he go get it. That's the man. This one that played both sides of the ball. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know what it is, but in my mindset, this might be another Travis Hunter, baby. What, what I mean by that is playing both sides of the ball. All right, we're young, but you never know. It's my man, Leesburg, wide receiver, starting freshman, and holding some offers right now. Y'all, come on, man. Help me bring in another freshman All-American, Mr. Lamar Garrison. Lamar, what's going on? What's up, Coach Lowe? How you been? Oh, man, life is great, man. Life is great. You can bring the camera down a little bit. All I do is see your big head on there. <laughs> you not, now you cut yeah, horizontal. Wait, wait, other way, other way, other way. <laughs> Get it horizontal. Get it horizontal, then you come on back here. Let me know when you got it right. Horizontal. You know what that means. Not straight up. Horizontal. Why, baby? But, yeah, my man coming in right quick, man. Um, you'll get him back in in a minute. Lamar Garrison, wide receiver right there at Leesburg. Came in as a freshman day. He go right there doing his thing. Man, how's the season going to that Leesburg, man? Y'all had a tough loss against Ocala, but y'all whooping some butter there with Coach Scott. How's it going? It's going great. It's going great. We just need to work on the little things to, like, to come, to come, like, like we just need to work on a few things to keep going to keep the season going good and stuff like that. Yeah, well, no, I mean it, it take time, especially with a new coach, and you yes, got sir. a freshman guy. You a freshman and a new coach. I mean that's already going to take a relationship. That's big when it comes to coaches player relationship. How's that relationship going uh, with a new coach? You a freshman, both y'all kind of new. How's that coach player relationship going with coach now? Like he just know when when it's a big play that's being needed. You know to call me. I'm always here. Well, that's good. So he trusts you already as a freshman. Now, a lot of people can't say that. I mean, I just talked to three other your um, your guys who are going to be on the roster with you down there in Naples for the Fresh All-American uh, Bowl. And a lot of people can't say that they coach depend on him when they need a big play. But you telling me they can depend on you to make a big play and you go make that play, right? Yes, sir. I'm always yes, sir. here. Yeah, well, that them big play paid off, right? You played uh, with um, Team Central Florida last year, and we're trying to get the ball to you. You played both sides of the ball, wide receiver and defensive back. I love you on both sides of the ball, which is definitely amazing. You do, you're a great, very, very, very talented uh, young man in the case. Now you're doing your thing and making your own marks. But you also took this on the road. You went to camps, right? You went to camp this summer and came back with offers, and now you're proving to them that they did not make the wrong decision. Lamar Garrison is a dude. They call him dude. They he he is a dude. So you hold how many offers now? I mean, is Cincinnati one of them offers? I'm correct. Yes, sir. Cincinnati, UTSA, UTSA, Marshall, and Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. Wait, Marshall. Hold on, what's the other? Yeah, right. Well, well, hey, you, hey, you can't pick. Hey, you can't pick but one. So we'll take it. Hey, you got a yes, couple on the pick for man. That's crazy. Cincinnati jumped on the bandwagon very early and very fast. You're sitting out right now as a freshman officer. You know that your college is going to get paid for. All you have to do is continue being a student athlete. And you, know, yes, right? you understand that mindset, correct? Yes, sir. Yeah. But hard work does pay it off. You know, in the camp series, it does work. You went through the path of Naples. You played Team Central Florida. And now you're at Leesburg doing your thing. And you guys here got another big game coming this week, uh, right? Yes, sir. We, no, no, no. We got a new, another, a new game that we play in Jacksonville tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. Yeah, they had. Cause we have, we had an off week last week, so we rescheduled it this week, Thursday. Okay, okay. They moved up to Thursday. Okay, I know, I know, I knew y'all had a game come. All right, well, y'all prepared and ready to go. I know that. Now, I want to kind of kick it back before we um uh, let you go right here. 
you play Ocala Van Ocala Vanguard. Vanguard, yes, sir. That was a tough game. That that's where Fred Gaskin came from. He was a beast. He's gone now. But y'all had that y'all if y'all to beat them, people would have really went crazy. But y'all was right there to beat them. But it came down to like a last minute or last few in the fourth quarter where they kind of a uh, finished game and y'all lost that game. Tell me about that. So we lost to like mental, mental, like thinking we're gonna go in the game, thinking it's easy. And then they came came in, jumped on us first first play, you no, know, like first half. Then we had to toughen up at the last little minute, which we couldn't which we can't do doing tough games like that. Well, well not well you learn from it. You know what I mean? They always say sometimes when you go through tough time adversity, you learn from it. Sometimes you gotta lose to win. It don't hurt you for the playoff and all that. We know that. So you gotta definitely got a chance to redeem yourself and them. But I mean, hey, way to step up as a freshman. I mean, you coming down from the Orlando Outlaws, right? Along with yes, Dominic Miranda, right? I mean, that's huge. You represent their brand and you represent a team system for the FBU. You dominate at the camp MVP. And then you go to freshman to high school and now you get the nomination to play in a freshman All-American Bowl, top 60 freshman probably in the country. I hope I got that number right. And um, I'm telling you, that's going to be an amazing experience. We're excited about that, man. I know your parents are excited. I talk to your dad all the time. He's like, man, this is the path. This is the journey. So you think you got three, four offers now. You wait, you get down here and dominate. You're going to have some of the best quarterbacks out there. Every year, the quarterbacks that come in at a freshman All-American game, dominates every single year they do well all the way back from Carter man to the xander smith to the landon holly these guys here did well so you got these guys already you know got multiple offers so it's the place to be and uh, i'm excited that you're going to be there and an the opportunity to represent you know leesburg and central florida in, in the fresh all american bowl coming december 21st down there in naples florida so good luck with your journey stay focused continue being a student athlete and we'll see you in december all right Yes, sir. Coach Low. All right, man. Thanks for coming on the show. Yes, sir. Well, there, there it is. That was the last one. Man, we had to run through that thing like hot cakes or Krispy Kreme donuts. Hot and now. No, I don't want no donuts. Anyway, but well, you heard it right there. Hey, Path to Naples, FBU. It's the answer. It's the place. It's the place to be. You want to be an under acre All American. You want to be a freshman All American like these guys right in Central Florida. You want to represent your youth football organization. You want to represent your high school, right? Your brand, your opportunity, is right there at FBU. And I'm the boy Coach Low. You are on the Coach the Corner. You're listening low. Always listening low. Remember, be yourself because everyone else is taken. See you next Wednesday.